Hello everyone, it's finally October 1st, 2021. I'm excited to get some more Halloween decorating done in my yard. Um, today I'm going to do a DIY of a large web between my two pine trees. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Here are some of the spiders that we use. The largest one was actually given to me by a neighbor that lives down the road. She said that she enjoyed my decorations and wanted me to have a larger spider. So that was really cool. So the way we do it, we attach them to these two large pine trees in the front yard. Um, we just have some nails right here. There's several going up, probably about 10 to 12 feet high, and you'll see how we string it together here soon. Okay, we're about to begin. So first we set up two ladders on either side of the pine tree so that we can build the base of the spider web. I'm going to probably speed up this process for you because it is a bit time consuming but I think you'll be able to understand how we're attaching it. Each pine tree has five nails or screws spaced about a foot and a half apart going up the front side of the tree. And we're gonna loop them around that. And then we're gonna attach the center spiral once we have the base completed. This is the view from the front where we've attached it to the tree. And Josh decided to tie, knot off the ends of these. Now we're going to start the spiral.
Okay, we have officially finished the large web and attached a huge spider to the center. It's looking pretty good. And to complete the look, we're going to use some of the cheap um, spider web that you pull apart. You get it like the Dollar General and attach it to the tree trunks to disguise some of this um, shrink wrap stuff. And then I'll show you the completed product. Okay, we have finished creating the spider web and I've added the accents to it now. And once we finish the rest of the display, we'll show you what all we have done and show you what it looks like at night too, because I'm currently adding some lighting to it. Okay, we've added some final touches. We've got a skeleton mowing. We've got my trees blooming. There's one of my cats. Alright, over here, like a little kitty. A witch being cooked in the cauldron. A little graveyard. And a spooky tree that's going green. I'm going to build a witch with a glowing face that's going to stand here between the potion table and the witch that's in the cauldron being cooked. And then light this up some too with the birds and snake and potion jars. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this Halloween tutorial and the decorations in my yard. If you like this, let me know and I'll try to make some more tutorials. Have a fantastic Halloween. Bye.